Good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, folks. Where am I? <clears throat> Once again, Solly Hall train station. I will include a little trip of a train. I just saw the Oxford flyer. That'll be like after my intro, but it's nothing to do with my trip. I'm going uh, to Blackpool with the National Holidays uh, coach company for uh, it's two nights. Uh, bed and breakfast evening meal we have a trip to the lights etc I'll tell you more about it when I'm in a hotel room but it's a bit chilly this morning that's another story so yeah so last time I was here was with my brother we went to the Isle of Wight with the National Holidays which was a great uh, trip um, I do go on a lot it's a bit of a secret really about these coach holidays, I don't really like to tell too many people, so don't broadcast it. Unless otherwise, I'll go to book and I will not go on. But a lot of people I talk to, they say, Oh, I wouldn't go on a coach holiday, stinky, smelly old coaches. And I don't think that because they're really smooth, latest usually Mercedes coaches, professional drivers, um, and for the price, for what it's costing me, you know. To go up there with the fuel and the hotel and that I just couldn't uh, it cost me a lot more in my car so and I haven't got to worry it's so nice when you're doing all the driving all the time I do all my own cooking and everything it's nice to have a break so and all my own housework now and again <laughs> that's another story I'm giving too many tales away now so uh, yeah come along with me folks I'm on my own could do a bit of company and um, I, just while I'm at it, I did actually book on this just park to park in someone's driveway. I was a bit worried about it because I've heard, heard horror stories, but I did have a message. They cancelled me parking, so I've parked here at the uh, station car park, but I couldn't seem to park for three days so I had to pay £22 a weekly but I'm only three days but that's the best I could do on that so at least I'm, I've got here and I'm parked up so that's about it uh, I want to give you a quick spin round at the station where I'm just waiting for the coach I'm a bit early I've rattled on enough don't ask about the dating site <laughs> anyway that's another story see you in a minute yeah, so that's Solly Hill Station. Uh, oops, just just trying to zoom across here. What it is on my pocket, you've got a zoom button, and the little buttons fell off. So I've got to replace that. Oh, I might, I've got to set. It's got a couple of little issues, so I might have a warranty job soon. But it's working all right. Just going to pull back. You can use your finger on the screen. So it's no problem. So yeah, so here we are. I'm just waiting for the coach, and uh, the car park's only just up there. So we'll see you in a bit, folks. That was the Oxford Flyer, folks. Right, uh, Johnson's coaches has just picked me up. It's a feeder, so uh, right, folks. Sorry about all the noise, but I'm at Keel Services. Uh, it's now just gone ten thirty. We've got to wait here now till ten to twelve for the next coach it is a bit of a pain but it's all part of the holiday we can't do nothing about it so anyway see you in a bit yeah hi folks sorry about the noise i haven't uh, plugged me mic in but the coach this is our feeder coach and uh Johnson's good driver 
there enjoyed that thanks a lot anyway yeah greetings folks from a windswept Fleetwood I'm just outside Fleetwood Market uh, so uh, I left uh, we, at um, 8.45 and it's now 2.30 so we're now at uh, it's been a bit of a jaunt but again because you're not driving it doesn't really matter Act 1 scene 2 yeah so there's the there's the coach there it does say national is on the on the front uh, so uh, there's a comfy ride I had a little nap late morning nap on the way up so we're going to have a look around this Fleetwood Market here just going to have a nose in there folks come and follow me follow me folks ok yeah it is we have a walk round yeah so this is uh, oh actually might need one of these 190 not too bad that's the GTI model yeah so have a little wander round Got some nice shorts there, I see ten quid. It's not too bad. Well, I'll think about it. Right, back to it. Um, yeah, I've been in here before. Uh, I've done a little video somewhere on the channel. But it is a big market, this. So if you're in the area, it's well worth Well worth coming and having a nose. We're here till four o'clock, which uh, has been a nice day out so far. There's some friendly people on the uh, on the coach, which makes it. It's a nice. So I'll get me on them shorts, but uh, new cardigan there, maybe. Let's go and have a look round. Uh, there's another little cafe up here. Yeah, so I'm still still walking round. Um, I'm looking for kitchenware actually because I want to get a small dish to cook eggs in the air fryer but I uh, haven't found anything small enough yet so don't seem to be any kitchenware uh, keep looking Nice, uh, my daughter Olivia likes this stuff here. Yeah, greetings, folks, from the pocket. I've got my gadget with me, but it's in, on the coach. I'm just gonna have a little walk round. This is for you, Brian, if you watch it. Uh, <laughs> I was having a walk round, the chap said, Can I help you? I said, It's all right, mate, I'm just having a nose. There's uh, Brian, you know, was on about that word, do we use it? Well, I do it a lot, having the nose round. So, uh, yeah, I've got me all the cameras with me, but I'm just using the pocket at the moment. So this video, in a bit, I'll be getting to the Norbrecht Castle. I'll show you my room and uh, have a dinner tonight. I'll show you that. In the morning, have a breakfast. 
I'll give you, you know, just a bit of opinion. The, the Nor Breck is, uh, it's a bit like Marmont, either you like it or you don't. Uh, it's not too bad, it's a two star uh, hotel. They've got some good rooms and they've got some rubbish rooms, so not sure what. Uh, got electric charges. Point here, I do drive an electric car, but I found the uh, charging, apart from the house, it's very expensive. So I'll have a little wander around now. So catch you in a second, we'll spin you around. Yeah, so it's a nice. Oh, actually, I'm just going to change me. Okay, I might be a bit of a wobble here. I'm on follow now. Yeah, so I can tilt up and down. Yeah. So when I'm on tilt lock, I use that for when I use the gadget. I can't do that. This is custom house line. How do I know? Says it on the tin. See you in a bit. Yeah, so this is Kent Street, uh, folks here. You know how I know, says it on the tin. So I'm just walking up now uh, to, uh, this is Fleetwood, and, oh my God. So it's, yeah, these are nice, just there. Uh, oh, so I've done videos here before, I'm gonna cross over. Oh, let's quick over before we don't get run over. Now, uh, this is uh, <coughs> Fleetwood Ferry is up here, and over there, I'll tell you where the ferry goes to when I get there, because I forgot, but uh, tides out at the moment. Uh, so, yeah, Fleetwood Ferry, I always wondered, you know, about it, and... Uh, it just goes across but I don't know this is all there's a lot of areas that are fenced off with whether there was anything else here in the past further along this like disused car parks just give you a little pan round here so I can see our coach is parked down there all right back to you in a minute well there's my first tram there uh, that's nice to see. Stargate. We're working. Um, Kerry Ferry Photography. There. Uh, got a cantina, fish and chip shop here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk along to it and I'm not going, oh that's it, I'll tell you, the ferry goes to Knot End, yeah, Fleetwood to Knot End, I was calling it Knot's End but it's Knot End, uh, I'll just go back a bit, so, uh, yeah, so, ferry times, Two pound each way. Uh, just going to go up. I haven't got my gadget with me, but it's somewhere over there. Going down, folks. Yeah, it's over there. Yeah, hi, folks. Uh, I've just come along here because I love this this old. Uh, a shelter here. I don't think you can go in it, but uh, it's a lovely. Uh, I love that in my back garden, but you could probably couldn't take it apart. But uh, yeah, that's a lot of people over the years. Uh, yeah, it's rotten. <laughs> Actually, I've got another point with a dentist, but say no more. Yeah, so that's inside. Yeah, it's lovely. Do like that. So, uh, yeah, it's nice. So, I'm going to head back round towards the market now. So, join me in a minute. Yeah, greetings, folks. Uh, from my shelter here. I love it. 
Uh, what the hell has gone wrong with me? Anyway, uh, I'm waiting. A chap just come out of his house, lovely chap with his dog. He said, you waiting for a tram? I said, yeah. He said, well, I don't stop here. I said, no, I am waiting, but I'm waiting to video one. So we've had a little chit chat. And uh, so I'm now waiting for it. He said it should be raining any time now. So uh, he said, if you're local and you've got a bus pass, you can use it. But if you're not local, you can't on the tram like this. So it should be coming round shortly. I'll probably say this twice because sometimes people flick through the videos and they don't watch all of it. But I'm a bit surprised that the coach it fetched us from Solihull, and there was from the Birmingham area. There were area there was only about five people booked to come to Blackpool this weekend. I think National Holidays, if you watch this, you keep sending stuff through the post and that, but you must be doing something wrong because uh, the holiday is a fantastic value and that coach should have been full. I think there's only 35 people on it, you know. Uh, and so we're all having a great time. Although we've had to hang around for an hour, but the friendly, the atmosphere, especially if you're on your own, like me, I live on my own and you don't get to speak to that many people and then you come on the coach and you're part of the crowd and it's great and it's all ages on there, perhaps I might be one of the oldest on there this time, I'm not sure but um, that's another story but uh, I say a great, great crowd so I'm going to wait for the tram, I'm sure will be up uh, then uh, we'll see you in a bit folks. Right, here comes the tram, there, uh, Stargate, yeah, nice, enjoyed that, yeah, I'm just heading back to the market now, so I probably won't do any more filming. I may do a little clip at the market when we're getting back on the coach, but uh, otherwise we'll see you at the Norbreck Castle. Um, I usually say, come and join me, I need some company, but there's a good crowd on the coach, so you've missed out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's great, that's how the weather lovely lovely and sunny uh, I've got free electric I know I've got the solar at home which does give me free electric not fully but uh, it is really helps me uh, but I've got you know running hot water and as much as I want uh, without having to sort of keep thinking about that light on and off so it makes a change so I think I'm heading the right way to the market, so we'll see you in a bit, folks. Thanks for watching. Yeah, hi, folks. Now arrived, Norbrecht Castle. Just going to go in now to get their key for the room. Sit, follow me. They're in the queue here. Yeah. Looks quite busy. Norbrecht Castle. It's a reception. Yeah, greetings folks. Well it's 243 my room. So I'm gonna give you a just gonna spin you to me for a sec. Yeah, welcome to 243. It well, I'll show you around, it ain't too bad, but the lift don't work. I have to carry my case up uh, two lot flights of stairs, uh, which luckily my knees better, I could do it, but a few months ago I wouldn't be able to do that. Uh, so you thought they'd get the lift fixed. It looks like all the labels on there, it's been broke for a long time. So uh chap on the reception weren't very helpful. He actually told me my room was 244. 
and I thought great I've got to see view but I haven't it's the other side two four three anyway I'm going to pause you for a sec and then I'll give you a room a view around this large room right that's the bed there um, I'll do it a bit of a bed test in a minute but that's the bed uh, TV with remote hang on a sec tea and coffee facilities there I actually I've got some coffee with me some Nescafe because that's the cheapest stuff there's me a bit windswept but greetings folks there is a little note there saying about energy information which obviously keep your lights off when you go out a bit like when you're at home save a bit of money and we're going through now to the bathroom I can say bathroom because sometimes people go a bit well it's only got a bath what it has here uh, so here's the bathroom that all looks clean no problems there shower curtain looks you know looks new oh, but mine's well better get a new one for my house yeah that looks all good no faults there it's going to pull out of here and uh, I'll give you a, a view out my window it's a bit dirty on the outside um, but radiator's not on but we're we'll on here let's just sort of come back in there we've got a wardrobe there so yeah so that's the room folks i'll just probably do one more little shot yeah that's me sort of bed shot there so uh catch you in a bit folks yeah hi folks i do the bed test Ew, not too bad I've got my shoes on so I can't that's fairly comfy so I know I stayed in another one I kept banging my head on that phone in the end I moved it but at least I've got a window this time it was the last time I stayed in one of the house, these hotels I never had a window so I might do I've got the GoPro with me I usually do a wide angle shot with the GoPro so this is the room it's not too bad it smells all right got a bin got the kettle uh carpet looks okay it ain't too bad i'm a bit disappointed about the lift not working um and really they should have said well if you if you need any help with your case we'll get someone you know as the lift's not working because a lot of people are here who, you know and i was uh bad earlier in the year with a walking stick with my knee i had gout in my knee when i went to corfu and uh i struggled Mind you, they never offered to help me when i went away but it is nice I always if i see someone struggling i offer to help them that's just me anyway anyway we'll catch you in a bit folks yeah hi folks uh, i'm just heading into blackpool because uh i haven't brought my contact lens solution so uh yeah we apologize for any inconvenience charming i say it's not me it used to be one of my favorite hotels but it has gone down downhill i'm afraid so uh they knock the good things down and keep the old anyway join me at the bottom yeah hi folks well i've just been into boots behind me there i've got two i have two of everything so i've got two uh salute oops hang on get back to me and press the wrong button here i am yeah i've got two lots of contact lens solution so if the dollar shop's still open i'm gonna have a quick look around i was going to go into blackpool but i've come to Cleveland, which i'll show you around now uh, yeah so do a lot of them big pots there i was at the garden centre the other day those were a bit bigger the seafront is down there but i haven't got time now uh, to go to the seafront so 
the bus coming there to St Anne's Square. So let's carry on, the pain shop still open. I'll nip in there. So join me a bit further along. Yeah, I used to come up to uh, Cleveland many years ago. I used to go to that curry house up there. Always nice food. So if you are up here, check that out. Uh -uh. A pound shop looks like it's still open. I might get a few snacks in my room. Uh, but uh, yeah, dinner's at uh, seven tonight. So I'll film that and then uh, I'll uh, show you the breakfast in the morning. And I'll, I'll start editing the video tonight. So I'm going to Dollar Land or Pound Land. We've got a few charity shops here. Uh, Oxfam over there. There's quite a few. Anyway, I'm going to go in here now and we'll see in a bit. Yeah, it's a lovely sky here. Yeah, it's a nice shop with a bench just there. So, yeah, lovely. Well, that's me dinner, folks, there. It's just a quick uh, view of the food. Looks all right. Yeah, so that's me dinner, folks. It looks all right. I'll let you know later if it's any good. Right, so this is me pudding. There's a good selection there. It uh, it's all, all tastes very nice. 57. On its own, number 6. 6 on 1, 61. Right, so uh, there's my breakfast. It's very busy here, so it's too busy to film the buffet, but it's a buffet breakfast and uh, got toast, orange juice. So I'm going to get tucked in and I'll speak to you in a bit, folks. Yeah, hi folks, uh, from my room at the Norbrecht Castle. I've just had my breakfast, it was okay, orange juice was nice. I didn't have the cereal, but uh, you had uh, toast, real butter, marmalade. That was all good. You didn't have to make the toast. It was all done for you. You just put your butter and marmalade on, or jam, whatever you wanted. Breakfast weren't too bad. Uh, no real complaints. The buffet, it's never the same as someone cooking it straight on your plate, but uh, it was okay. So... Uh, yeah, I did do a little clip of the bingo. I think there was some entertainment on later than that, but I was a bit tired last night and I wanted to do a bit of editing, so I didn't stay for that. So, uh, yeah, we're off to uh, Southport this morning. Somewhere else is some sort of market. I'll probably do a bit of a video on uh, maybe on me little day out I'll see how I get on so then we got the illuminations tonight and um, I think a trip to Manchester on the way home tomorrow it's quite a lot I think it's about 150 pounds I paid for uh, two nights uh, I think I paid extra for single supplement but uh, it's not bad uh, you know uh, if you put all your fuel costs in and your hotel a breakfast evening meal it's it's good value so so yeah can't really complain so anyway before I say any more I'm ending the video now so as usual don't forget to like and subscribe give me the thumbs up uh, appreciate that big eye to everybody and uh, Hope you're safe and well. Let's hope there's peace in Ukraine. I, unfortunately, I did watch a bit of the news last night because I've got TV in the room and uh, it did depress me a bit watching the news. I'm not going to go into it, but sad state the world's in some of these countries. Just can't believe what they do to their people. But uh, anyway, let's just hope one day we get peace. So that's all for now, folks. And join me on more videos from the trip. 
See you in a bit. <laughs>